thinking feeling for residents in a Bronx neighborhood where they've lived with a growing sinkhole for more than a year. Good evening, I'm Dick Brennan. Welcome back. I'm Alice Gaynor. Christine and Maurice are off tonight. Bronx residents call a sinkhole downright dangerous. And they say their complaints fell on deaf ears. CBS 2's Steve Langford has the story new at 530. It's just ugly. It is. It's just ugly. At their wits end, the people of Nelson Avenue in the Bronx, where this giant hole in the street has imperiled pedestrians and cars alike, pending joint repair work by the city and Con Ed for at least a year now, according to residents like Sally Glover. It should have been done when it was a little tiny hole, and it was a little tiny hole. Now it's a big old gapping hole. Like somebody just threw a big old bomb in there and it blew up. Called 311 a hundred times. Every people in the neighborhood called 311, and we, we never got no results until now. Tuesday morning, crews from the City Department of Environmental Protection arrived to assess the scene and put up protective barriers. It's not the first time the crater has been cordoned off. Like some archaeological dig, I can actually see a safety cone and caution tape under here from a previous repair attempt. And a check of Google Maps Street View shows the same pit in the same condition in June of this year, roped off with many safety cones. We have complained, but nobody have heard our voices. Wilson Sanchez says his car once got stuck in the hole and had to be pulled out. It's really dangerous. So, someone could have got hurt. A Con Ed emergency crew shows up not long after we're there to begin removing an electric cable that has delayed fixing the hole, according to the DEP. I mean, why wait till someone gets hurt? That's just ugly. Con Ed says its crew removed the cable late in the day, clearing the way for the city to fix the hole that sunk the spirits of this street for so long. In the High Bridge section of the Bronx, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. Now, Con Ed says it apologizes for any inconvenience. The DEP says it doesn't know how many people called 311 about the sinkhole. More